The biggest surprise for me during the interview process was that it wasn't scary at all. It wasn't as scary as I thought it would be. Um, in fact, it was very relaxed, very conversational. I got to get to know my interviewers just like they got to know me. And people here just want you to succeed in your interview. And I, I wish I went in with a little bit more confidence um, and was a little bit more relaxed about the conversations that I was having. I think the biggest surprise for me was how quickly I, I felt a connection to this organization. It sounds a bit strange, but I'll explain. When I went to the interview process, firstly, I still didn't really know what management consultants did, but I just had an assumption that there would be a lot of people who were incredibly smart, who knew lots about business. What I was faced with was, was actually people who wanted to help me through the interview process wanted to guide me, wanted to give me an accurate representation of McKinsey. I kind of actually thought, well, these people are folks that I would go for a beer with and that I would be friends outside of the work setting. And I found that to date, you know, in the last year that I've worked here, that I've made some great friends. I mean, you don't have to worry about being perfect. In one of my interviews, I got, I got stuck at some point. I couldn't find the, the last answer on the list and the interviewer had to help me. Um, so I was really afraid I was, I was screwing up the interview. But then the interviewer helped me to like, take the next step and pick up my story and my, my um, flow in the case again. And then we got into the case again and the calculations and, and the answer. So in the end, it was all fine. I'm also conducting interviews for McKinsey now, so I know how it is from both sides. And I think sometimes I see two extreme points. Some persons, they are just too shy and they are, they are not able to, to get the conversation started and show the best skills they are having. So this is one extreme on the one, one hand side. Try to be open. There is somebody who wants to get to know you. Show your personality and also show your analytical uh, uh, way of thinking. The second extreme are people who want to pick up every success they had in their life in every single interview. It's not about repeating your success stories from the past again and again, because be sure every interviewer has seen your, your CV. It really came down, I think, to the relationship that I was able to build with each person. And I think as an interviewer, you want to try and do that. There are always these moments when you can connect with the interviewer. And I think being able to sort of understand when that is and being able to build on that, I think, helps them, helps you engage with them better, and I think it helps them get to know you better as a person. Come in with an open mind, and don't be afraid to ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask hard questions, because we really want to make sure that you have all of the information that you want and need in making a decision about whether or not this is the right place for you. At the end of the day, you're being selected for the interview because people here believe that you have the capacity to be a great consultant. That's why you're being asked to come on an interview. So see it that way, see it as a two-way conversation. I definitely wouldn't freak out, um, but some people freak out a bit more than others. So uh, just to give you an example, what I did before my interview, um, I love running. Uh, I do a lot of sports outside of my work, uh, and it's a super good way for me to uh, to de-stress, to lose anxiety. Whatever you may have come across in your case uh, uh, interview preparation, trying to cram that all in your head before the interview, definitely don't do that. Uh, just get into your rituals, uh, which in my case is, uh, is running and exercise.